W.E.B. Du Bois to Yolanda Du Bois. October 29, 1914. Dear little daughter, I have waited for you to get well settled before writing. By this time, I hope, some of the strangeness has worn off and my little girl is working hard and regularly. Of course, everything is new and unusual. You miss the newness and smartness of America. Gradually, however, you are going to sense the beauty of the old world, its calm and eternity, and you will grow to love it. Above all, remember, dear, that you have a great opportunity. You are in one of the world's best schools, in one of the world's greatest modern empires. Millions of boys and girls all over this world would give almost anything they possess to be where you are. You are there by no desert or merit of yours, but only by lucky chance. Deserve it, then. Study. Do your work. Be honest, frank, and fearless, and get some grasp of the real values of life. You will meet, of course, curious little annoyances. People will wonder at your dear brown skin and the sweet crinkly hair, but that is simply of no importance and will soon be forgotten. Remember that most folk laugh at anything unusual, whether it is beautiful, fine, or not. You, however, must not laugh at yourself. You must know that brown is as pretty as white or prettier, and crinkly hair as straight, though it is harder to comb. The main thing is the you beneath the clothes and skin. The ability to do, the will to conquer, the determination to understand and know this great, wonderful, curious world. Don't shrink from new experiences and custom. Take the cold bath bravely. Enter into the spirit of your big bedroom. Enjoy what is and not pine for what is not. Read some good, heavy, serious books just for discipline. Take yourself in hand and master yourself. Make yourself do unpleasant things so as to gain the upper hand of your soul. Above all, remember your father loves you and believes in you and expects you to be a wonderful woman. I shall write each week and expect a weekly letter from you. Lovingly yours, Papa.